Show us on the one. I am back with another preview. Uh, here at the yellow corner, and I'll be previewing our Bedway Premiership Game 7 fixture as we host Bologna City on Wednesday night, at half past seven. Uh, loft us, man. Looking forward to that uh, game for obvious reasons, man. We all remember what happened uh, not so long ago, uh, maybe 10 or so days ago, man. So, yeah. But before I go into that fixture, man, I think I need to start a uh, guy. Yeah, small and a chat about our last game, man. Uh, that being our away trip to the south of Johannesburg to take on Kaiser Chiefs in the Cali knockout quarter final, man. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Well, what a day, man. What a game, man. Uh, a one sided affair, man, from start to finish, man. Uh, an emphatic victory, man. A great performance, uh, man. Great planning uh, by the technical team and an amazing execution by the boys, man, you know, but yeah, uh, Coach Mangova uh, uh, wanted us to uh, get more goals, man, even though we scored four, but he wanted uh, for, uh, more goals. I saw him around the 80th minute, man, when the boys were just moving the ball around, man, yeah, he, he, he looked uh, ticked off there on the bench, man, kept, uh, I, uh, he kept saying, move the ball forward, move the ball forward, shouting at them, man. so yeah, he really wanted uh, to go for the kill, but I don't blame him, man, Linda, I'm like that when we play this team, man. Uh, some of us uh, grew up in an era where this team, was, this team in the league were the cup kings of South African football. Yes, we would win the league, but uh, they, they, they were that team, you know. And yeah, you find out when I feel like a class who supports sundowns and everyone else supports this team. So yeah, they almost messed up my childhood. So yeah, loving, love seeing them suffer like this and Lerona uh, 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 that to that pain yeah boy, nah, man yeah but yeah uh, I think everyone played well man I, I honestly can't sing out anyone I think maybe credit to uh, uh, but who's, who hasn't played that much man for him to come into such a big game and give a performance like that man I I, I thought uh, he was brilliant man he helped us uh, move the ball very involved in everything that we did you know uh, was there to receive and uh, 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 circulate the ball. He was there when we needed a uh, pressing or counter pressing. When he, I thought, I thought that was a, a brilliant uh, uh, performance by by Trusi, man. And yeah, I think that's one player that I can give special credit to, man. But yeah, apart from that, I think the team played really, really well, man. We we, we forced them to do uh, uh, things that they didn't want to do. We dictated the game with and without the ball, man. We were just uh, scintillating uh, on the day. It was, it was really, really beautiful to watch. And uh, like we started that early to show who, where the direction, where yeah, the game was going to go, man. It was, yeah, absolutely uh, uh, amazing, man. So really enjoyed uh, that victory, man. Really, really enjoyed it, man. And yeah, no complaints about the Ravery, man. And then the Minister of Sports, I didn't tweet anything about VR. He was just there uh, in the VIP suit of boxing at Kaiser Chiefs, you know. I uh, don't know uh, if Leanne, he was feeling the pain that was felt uh, by the Muta wounds. And yeah, loved that performance boy, by, by, by the boys, man. But yeah, moving along, like I said, we're playing Bolokwani City, man. Uh, this is uh, the second second game here, Ronaldo Bona in the league. Uh, it was obviously moved forward because of uh, our participation in the Champions League. So, yeah, we're playing them. We're hosting them after they beat us embarrassingly. It was an embarrassing one nil defeat, man. It's, it, it was one of those, man. Yes, the, the, the score was not a huge margin, but the performance was absolutely embarrassing by the boys. But, yeah, after that, we've, uh, after that game, we've, we've been playing uh, really, really well. Man. So, I think... A question in most people's minds uh, are we going into this game uh, uh, looking to, to get revenge? I do not think so. I don't think uh, that's what our players will be thinking about. I think they will be thinking, well, you know what, we, we, we need to remind people of, uh, uh, of who we are and what we're capable of and show them why. It was just a blip in that uh, a game. It was just an off day and nothing to it. And uh, we, we need to show uh, 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 everyone who uh, uh, on our day we can 
smash this team, you know. So I think we'll go into that game just wanting to prove a point uh, to them and everyone else, you know, but not necessarily uh, going into it with revenge into our minds, man. We go into our next two games with a bit of an issue with regards to our main man, Ribeiro, who I think has been the best player in the league uh, so far, man. Uh, Ribeiro uh, just came, came back from suspension, accumulation yet yellow cards, and yeah, he's now sitting on two yellow cards after getting one against Cape Town City for an unnecessary foul, and then uh, 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 on Saturday against Chiefs, man, throwing the ball away, man, which was a stupid yellow card, man. I don't know, man, uh, what's wrong with these players who are incredibly good. Like, gen geniuses are really flawed, man. Eh? So, uh, yeah, I think he falls under that category. And so he's sitting on two yellow cards. Going into this game, Yapologwani is sitting. If he gets a yellow card and then we go and play uh, Gallant on Sunday in the semi final at Kalin Cup and he gets another yellow card in that game, he uh, faces uh, 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 there's a potential that he will miss the final uh, uh, if we do make the final. So, the question now is. Do we field him or do we save him for game a gallant so that even if he gets a yellow card, he will be sitting on there and still be able to play the, 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 the final. But I think uh, the next game is your most important game. You know, I think that's uh, Coach Manoba answered a question. It didn't have to do with this, but it had to do with uh, I remember when focusing how you focus on the game, and he mentioned oh, your, fo your next game is your most important game. So I think we need to focus on this game, Yapoloko, and field our best, the best 11, you know, because he, he would have egg on our faces if we save him, we don't play him against Poloko, and we drop points, and then get beaten by Gallant on Sunday and not make the final. It would have been a useless exercise, you know. So I think it's you play your best team, and uh, uh, if he gets the two yellow cards in the next two games, so be it, man. We'll uh, uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. The final, or how we do we approach uh, the final? But yeah, he really needs to work on uh, his temper, man. Eh? Yeah, this 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 uh, uh, South American guys, man. Hey, I felt sorry for Gaston on Saturday, man, a uh, player, a former player of ours who did really, really well for us, man. Seeing him in that team uh, struggle like that and uh, losing his cool, you know, Gaston would lose his cool when he was a sundown, sundowns winning. So imagine playing for Chiefs, they are losing, uh, getting and driving from your former team and yeah, uh, it was worse, man, for him. I felt a bit sorry for Gaston, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what can you expect uh, from this game, Yaronel Polokwani, and maybe what do we need to do to win this game, man? Uh, I think we need to match and uh, surpass the physicality in the middle of the park. Uh, how do we do that? I think we feel the same middle field three that we fielded against uh, Kaiser Chiefs on Sunday. Because when we played this team uh, less than 10 days ago, uh, they sacrificed their uh, 10 in Marema for a 6 slash 8 in Mapungule. So, they went for a very competitive uh, middle field three, you know, yeah, Gambala, Kul, and, and Mapungu, the hardworking uh, middle field three. So, only one we can field uh, a middle field three as well. But ours will, is obviously technically a, a, a much more superior. So, we can win that middle field battle, you know, we can contain them when they have the ball, but uh, with our uh, quality in the middle of the park, the question is, we, we can they be able uh, to, 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 to contain us, man. Uh, this team works very, very hard. They press hard, they press high, and at times, uh, they, they, they close down, total, it's uh, three, men, three uh, men on one, yeah, the opponent, you know, just uh, to try and win the ball, or uh, as, win the ball back as quickly as possible. But with them doing that, it means we, at times we'll, we'll have uh, two, one or two players free somewhere else. And I think, moving the ball quicker and finding that free man uh, that we'll have when they press uh, whoever has the ball for runner can help us uh, uh, in trying to help this team. And I think we need to keep uh, uh, the ball in this game, you know, not turn it over cheaply because this team, man, they are very uh, uh, intense with the intentions, uh, they are very intentional 
uh, uh, when they counter press, they want to move to regain possession and move it up front as quickly as possible. You know, move it to Chauke or Apollix. Use that pace. Yeah, 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 yeah. police, and I think our rest defense needs to be on point just for that because they once they win the ball, they move it forward as quick as possible. Not just with that, with regards to our rest defense, man. Their best chance in the last game came from our corner. They uh, regained possession and then moved the ball quickly forward, and uh, yeah, they almost scored. Uh, but uh, fortunately for us on the day, Chauke missed a chance that was easier to 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 score than to uh, uh, miss you know so yeah our rest defense needs to be on point you know there, there were situations where it was a police versus a tapelo a one-on-one and yeah we, we need to make sure we don't find ourselves uh, uh, uh on the back foot with regards to that and like we saw like, game here on alibona in the mt8 man this we will be playing in a much bigger and wider pitch uh, they, 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 they will all obviously look to play the ball behind our a uh, high line. So need to make sure, no, uh, we don't allow them uh, uh, to do that. I honestly think this team's defense is not great. They have a lot of players that I like in their defense. I like Trong, I like uh, uh, Tabanga Duludi, you know. But I think we can break them, and if we play the way we we played against Chiefs because. We put the chief, the defensive chiefs under so much pressure that they tend uh, over possession cheaply. They panic. We make them panic. We do that. We do fifty percent of what we did against chiefs against Polar One. We will definitely uh, 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 head them, you know. And uh, the obvious thing about this team is the uh, uh, set piece threat, you know, Yabo uh, and that they bring into this game. Uh, uh, Nigani has scored two goals. For this team uh, in the league, and they've both both come from the uh, uh, set pieces taken by uh, Cole Alexander. So we need to be careful not to give away not to give away chief free kicks in and around our box. You know, the coach mentioned something in the last game when he was talking about how uh, uh, they, they are planning to uh, overcome us in that uh, first game year, year league against Borona. Uh, he mentioned or not, he made sure centrally. Uh, Barakwala, you know, they shut down the central, uh, the central area of the field, you know, and I think with how good we've been uh, uh, going forward uh, on the white channels, more so on the right. I mean, our right, ch- right side is very, very, very dangerous, man. I think we can, with 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 uh, uh, maybe helping their attack, we can help them, you know, like uh, once we regain possession. Go long. Uh, it, it has worked for us. Like move the ball uh, as quickly as possible to the final third, so you so that you don't give them uh, time to recover. You know, and I think in this game, I personally wouldn't mind if uh, Ribeiro, Le 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 Le, Le Reynas, uh, cheat. You know, uh, let Matuluji uh, uh, on, on our left, their right where Reynas will be. Let him go, and then. Once uh, we regain possession, you, you, we easily find a uh, Reynas. And then on the right, we obviously know how uh, Ribeiro will come into in between uh, the lines and the half spaces. And then he lets uh, Mudao use the, 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 the wide channel. So I think this game, man, it won't be easy. It won't be easy. Uh, this team will press us hard, you know, and high. And I hope they really press us high, you know. And we, 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 we kill them by playing uh, the, the, the long balls behind their defense, you know. They did that in the, the game that we played against them uh, the season before last at Loftus when we played a nil nil draw. And I think one of our goals was side or they said there was a foul leading up to that goal, something like that. And they pressed hard, you know. I hope they do that. And this time, because we moved the ball quicker, we can help them because in that uh, 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 two seasons ago, the season before last, we are not moving the ball quicker, so it became in a way easy for them to press us high and uh, make it difficult for us uh, uh, to come out. But obviously, they will uh, bring a threat, like I mentioned, the pace, yeah, 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 Chauke, as well as a police up front, and then the set pieces. And uh, Matulu, the overlapping, he's had an exceptional season 
them and people will I definitely think he won't be there next season. Man. But I think we play similar to how we played against Chiefs, approach the game with that mentality. I think mentality is the most important thing. And I think once Sundowns players are switched on and they just tell themselves, you know what, we're not uh, effing around in this game, we will definitely uh, win this game. Uh, I would go for the same lineup that played against Chiefs. I wouldn't make any changes, you know. Uh, I think I would want us to check the momentum into uh, um, the, the the last game, which is the semi final, uh, before the international break. You know, like go into the international break having won our last uh, uh, two games or the, the, all the games after our our defeat to these guys. It will be a great for our momentum. You know, I I. I wouldn't change. Uh, there's no need to change personally uh, for now going into uh, this game. Just get the job done, man. Get the three points, and we focus on on uh, the semi final. Yeah, I think we will win uh, this game uh, three one. I'm very, I'm very optimistic and very positive going into this game. I think that loss will be motivation or, uh, enough for the boys to say, you know what, we need to show these guys you know, you're not uh, better than us. Thank you guys for watching me ramble for a good 15 or so minutes. Uh, I will be back on Thursday to bring you the preview of our Culling Black Label uh, knockout semi final as we travel to Bloomfontein to tackle Arumo Galant on Sunday. Until then, Shap Shap Masandawana.